society today, new system of technologies appeared from different industries, from medias, infrastructures, manufacturers, in the fields of medicine, and even in our home. But for today, we will enter the hidden world of modern medical technologies. Here in TUA Top of the Line. One of the jobs of medical technologists is drug testing. Drug testing is a technical analysis of a biological specimen to determine the presence or absence of specified drugs. The reasons of having a drug test are for mandatory testing, random testing, reasonable suspicion or cause, post-accident or crime scene, follow-up or return to duty, and pre-employment. There is an instance that a seaman had to have a drug test for his medical clearance in returning to his duty. will be sent first in the screening laboratory. This laboratory has 90% to 95% accuracy and sensitivity and can release a false positive or false negative that should be subjected to confirmatory testing and shall be retained for at least 15 days after receipt of results and ensures patient's confidentiality. We have another examination for today. Hope we get this right as always. Oh, sure we can. We were trained well by our professors back in college, right? Mike is right. Now let's go back to work. The medical profession relies heavily on those who work behind the scenes. Although they are not as prominent to the public as nurses or doctors, medical laboratory technicians are an integral part of the medical and science community, preparing and performing tests to detect, analyze, diagnose, and treat diseases. This is a highly technical field that often requires the use of complex equipment. So if you are interested in being a lab technician, you should be able to use a computer. 
and have the ability to work well with your hands. You should also be able to stand for hours at a time, work under pressure, and pay close attention to detail. Accuracy in this work is vital to the correct diagnosis and treatment of patients. Make sure that the urine sample gets to the laboratory for culture within two hours of collection to avoid possible contamination. If it is going to take longer than two hours, you can store the urine at 4 degrees centigrade in a fridge for 24 to 48 hours, or use a dip slide such as this, or add boric acid to the urine which prevents bacterial multiplication. When the specimens arrive at the laboratory, they are unpacked, packed, labelled, and the details entered onto the computer. In the laboratory, a small sample of the urine is transferred to a microwell for microscopic examination. What will happen to me? Will I die now? What about my family? Please, I will do anything just to pa put positive on my results. I beg you, what's the number of that medical technology? Sorry, sir, but that's against the right of the medical technology. Advise you to exercise and strengthen your stamina. Get the right kind of food and have faith in Almighty God. He'll wait for the results. After Mr. Gonzaga found out that the result is a false positive, he was given an advice to exercise and eat the right kinds of foods. The incidence of having false positive results is normal in drug testing, because as I said earlier, screening laboratory has only 90% to 95% accuracy, while confirmatory testing is more analytical and has 99% sensitivity and accuracy.
confirmatory testing, the final drug test result of Mr. Gonzaga is negative. So you may think that medical technology is difficult because if you release a fraudulent drug test result, you will have your consequences. But if you know the right procedures, then there's no nothing. <laughs>